Hi there, my name is Lars Sørensen. We're over here at CVC 2019 in Las Vegas, and we're creating all these video snippets uh, especially for you, so you can get a hint of the exciting stuff that's going on here, all in the theme of computer vision. And for this next interview, uh, we're going to uh, dive into another expertise. Uh, we're going to get some deep reinforcement learning going on. We've got some graph machine deep learning going on. And it's all coming from uh, the brilliant mind of our next uh, expert uh, working at the Global Energy uh, Interconnection Research Inst Institute. We're so yes. glad that you're here. Uh, Yang Li Zhu, yes. uh, thank you for being with us. Thank you. And uh, so uh, just uh, to understand first a little bit y your experience with us here at the conference. Uh, are you enjoying yourself? Is it interesting? Yes, it's very interesting. So it's my first time to attend a computer vision related conference because my major is not a pure computer science. I'm from electrical engineering. Uh -huh. So I feel very excited. Yeah. Awesome. Good yeah. to hear that. Okay. Obviously, we have a lot of different people uh, here. Is that yeah. interesting for you? Yes, yes. I have learned a, a lot from their presentation. Yeah. Good to hear that. Yeah. Uh, we're going to learn a little bit from you. Okay. Obviously, we only have the short time. We can't have your entire research, but it's nice to hear some uh, some bits. You, w one of the things that I, that I saw came by is that you uh, are using graphics uh, to to uh, uh, accelerate machine deep learning. Could you uh, uh, tell us a little bit about that? Uh, Typically, uh, right now we uh, in our company we have a project that is using the graph database to store some engineering data mm -hmm. and uh, try to use the sp special property of the graph database to uh, accelerate the, the traditional computation. Because traditional, traditionally, the data is typically stored in the relational database, that, right, like my, my, my SQL. But now, uh, as you know, there are a new type of product uh, of uh, uh, database. It's the uh, non-relational type database. And one of them is the gra uh, graph database. Yeah. For example, uh, we our company, our research institute is focused on the uh, software development and the uh, research study for power utilities. Okay, po for power grids. So pow so uh, theoretically speaking, the a power grid is just a graph, right? That's it. Mathematically yeah. speaking, so if we can uh, store the like say the branch and the vertex data in a uh, built-in graph. Uh, format in computer. So then, when we when we want to retrieve the data from the disk or memory, so, uh, we expect a higher efficiency than traditional relational database. And uh, awesome. our and our uh, and our experiments uh, uh, verify uh, the idea of this. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So uh, is it in a, like in a working state? Did you guys also try it out and experiment that? Because that would mean it, it would mean like almost a could be a disruption for the uh, database industry. Uh, I cannot say disruption because <laughs> we are not the inventor That's of it. the of the graph data database. It's, it's an, it, it, I think it's a, it's invented by Google or some other big company. We we, we just uh, try to apply it. That's it. In a specific domain. Yeah. 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 Because then uh, you would say that if it offers that many, uh, um, uh it offers a possibility. That's it to yeah. accelerate the traditional engineering computation. Yeah. 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 So uh, during your presentation uh, on this, uh, how how were the reactions? Because we have we have experts from all these different fields. A lot yeah. of them would be from computer vision yes, sir. or computer uh, data scientist. Yeah. So how would they be uh, maybe asking you some questions or reacting to your presentation? Uh. In my presentation, uh, I think uh, I have uh, encountered two questions, and uh, I think uh, both of the questions are very inspiring. And uh, for example, one one of the authors asked me the uh, why I should I, I use the some kinds of uh, probability den density function in the in the method, but why I do not uh, why I I don't use others. So previously I don't that uh, I I'm not diving too too deep in in, 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 in these questions. Hmm. So mm, I, I think their questions are very are important. Interesting to Interesting. take home. Yeah. Take home to think, of, think more. That's yeah. it, yeah. yeah. Uh, just what would be the, the next step would your guess be for this research? What What's the next angle you would like to discover more about? Uh, the next step is that uh, we, we still want to, uh, as you know, this conference, the topic of this conference is computer vision. So we, we, we try to figure out uh, more application scenarios in 
uh, traditional areas, for example, in power utility areas, power system areas, how can we use uh, computer vision, digital uh, EMG processing techniques to facilitate uh, some power system application? For example, as you know, for transmission lines, they, they typically maybe 100, maybe uh, 10 meters or even one, one, 100 meters higher. So, so right now, some company has utilized the, the drone. Yeah. And pl plus some camera uh -huh. to 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 monitor the the condition of, of the high tra of the transmission line on the tower to to uh, to prevent any potential dangerous damage yeah yeah, yeah, yeah there there damage yeah, yeah 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 so the, the the drone will take a lot of uh, photos images and then you have to apply the computer vision algorithm to analyze even analyze them in in a real time way. Awesome. So, so there are a lot of interesting applications. A lot of possibilities. Possibilities, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I want to thank you so much for being with us briefly and, okay. and sharing some of your uh, your thoughts. And okay. uh, uh, hopefully you're having a, uh, you had a great time yeah. uh, uh, here at the at the conference. Uh, obviously, if the people want to know more, okay. all of the submitted papers will be published, and so you can read all about it and even reach out to uh, uh, to our uh, submitters or uh, attendees here. Uh, thank you so much, uh, uh, Young Lee Su. From from the Global Energy Interconnection Research Institute. Uh, if you've liked this video, don't forget to uh, put, put up a thumbs up, uh, share it, and subscribe to our channel. We are making a, a lot more videos available to you of all the things that happened here. And if you want to be with us, check out the dates for coming events, and we'll hope to meet you there. Thanks for watching.